Hello and welcome to week two of the Healthy Chad Initiative. Here we go. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've been having some injuries. I have been running some more. It looks like I lost a pound, which is good. Um, but I've been getting some pretty bad pain in the top of my right calf, so I don't know if I have to stretch or what. Um, so I'm trying to continue to work out, but that is a very uh, typical of me. I feel a little pain and I do not necessarily push through it, as opposed to thinking, well, a little bit of pain it might be a good thing because it means my body's actually doing some work, not loafing like it has does for a majority of the time. So. We'll see how that goes. I've been doing extra exercise, been running in prep for the 5K, and now I got a, like a pain in the back of my leg, which I'm trying to not use as an excuse to stop running, but. Exactly the same, wow. See, that's a drop of half of the inch right there in the girth. <laughs> All right. All right, let's head over to the fitness room. Get you started. Oh, sorry. It's my right. boob, which is saying what? I have um, breasts. So it goes on your xiphoid process, which is right in between your, your, your breasts that um, on like the sternum. Better. And then it goes all the way around. It does have to touch the skin, so it does need to go underneath your shirt. Um, and just to point out a couple of things up here in front of you. I can't read that. But Can you I tell the color? That. Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'll tell you the words. So the bottom one is purple. That means no activity. Okay. The next one up is a blue color. That's a light activity. Green is a moderate. Vigorous is the yellow. Very vigorous is orange. And then maximum effort is the red. So that's called the perceived exertion chart, if you were curious. And then, other thing I have to tell you is, I'll read it verb verbatim. Um, reasons to stop an exercise test. If you have pain, tightness, or heaviness in your chest, pain in any other area, difficulty breathing, feeling dizzy or lightheadedness, or you're not feeling comfortable with the test, please let me know and we will stop the test. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions before we continue? Negative go through. Alrighty. That was awesome. Well, you really did a great job, honestly. I don't think I've had but maybe one person get up into that stage so far. Oh, uh, don't even tell me that. I'm just saying. Just saying. Hear that, Brian? I heard that. that has to make <laughs> the video. I'm not quite sure I believe it. That a hey, doesn't matter. <laughs> Just like the teacher was always saying, that's the best class I've ever had. Yeah, the yeah. Time I hear sounds good. You never, so. you never believe that one. So will you believe me? So we have the VO2 on the y-axis. Higher the number, the better efficiency, and we have heart rate on the x-axis. Each blue data point or each blue square is a data point and they've drawn in the line of best fit. When we got to this one, that's when we hit that 85% of your maximum heart rate. What does this number mean? That number Some means- Some fair. Right, so that's the volume of oxygen. Okay. okay. So that's the VO2, okay? So you get it, volume okay. is the V, O2 is oxygen. So that's the number that's saying, if we could put efficiency in numerical form, this is the efficiency of your oxygen okay. uptake. Okay. Does that make yeah. it better, a little bit better sense? So it does fall into this fair category. If you do notice, though, we're not too far from getting into that next category. Pretty much what I expected. A little bit weaker than where I wanted to be in some places. But nowhere to go but up. Hopefully this was, and I was feeling a little demotivated, you know, with the pain in my leg and everything else. But hopefully doing this will keep me going. Any suggestions that you have on places to go work out or exercises to do to improve flexibility and things of that nature, please send them to me, chad.t.jones.siv. Good Lord, there's a lot of dots. chad.t.jones.siv at mail.mil. Hit me up on Twitter at ctjibber. That's C-T-J-I-B-B-E-R. Um, because yeah, this is something that's going to be interactive. I can already tell it's going to be, your guys' comments are going to help me. I mean, that positive feedback 